Good morning and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to our digital event today. So today we are broadcasting from MR Germany headquarters. We are broadcasting directly from our training center in Regensburg, Germany. Our training center here is fully equipped with onload tap changers and motor drive units. On behalf of MR, we would like to welcome all of you out there, especially transformer operators and transformer manufacturers from all over Europe. In these special Corona times, we are more than happy to use digital events like this to keep in touch with you. So my name is Stefan Karl, and together with a great team of specialists, I'm responsible for our customers in Northern and Eastern Europe. I'm very happy to inspire you today with another interesting topic around onload tap changing equipment and around power transformers. Our topic for today is a very special one. So we are talking about motor drive units for onload tap changes. We are talking about modern modernization and retrofit requirements and options for transformer users when it comes to that point. So we would like to present all important aspects around the topic motor drive unit exchange in a a live session to you. So we would like to show you, and this is the highlight of this event, we would like to show you a motor drive unit retrofit in front of the camera on our uh, uh, show transformer outside. What is the motivation behind doing a motor drive retrofit from an end user perspective? So this is the question you may ask for. As you probably know, nowadays the lifetime of a power transformer is increasing. 40 to 60 years is quite normal. Well, you do not need to be an expert to see that 60 years is a bit difficult for an electrical drive mechanism, which is equipped with contactors, electrical parts, terminals, wirings and so on. So additionally, technology changes or digitalization requirements are also aspects which influence the decision to replace a motor drive unit earlier or later. So today's event is supported by a powerful team. So you're going to meet Manfred, one of our most popular and most experienced service specialists and trainer. Manfred will show us how to replace an old motor drive unit with a new one. Manfred will let us know some details around the drives behind me. You're going to meet Bastian Niedermeyer. You're going to meet Herbert Schubert. So they will let you know what you have to consider um, if it comes to a retrofit. Uh, which organizational aspects you have to consider, technical aspects you have to consider. So we are looking forward for the next round about 30, 40 minutes. So in case of question, please send us an email afterwards. Call us. We are looking forward to give you useful information around the topic. Um, lay back, relax and enjoy the event. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here in front of our motor drive units uh, together with Manfred Schaffhauser, our expert here today. So, hello Manfred, thanks for being here and supporting us today. Hello Stefan, uh, nice to see you again. Thank you. Um, before we're gonna talk about the motor drive units, Manfred, please update us, introduce yourself to the participants. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Manfred Schaufhauser and I'm working for MR more than 40 years. I started here with my apprenticeship, then I moved to the technical service. I was working outside in the field all around the world. And since many years, I'm now here in the training center in Regensburg to train our service technician on all our equipment and also customers. Okay. Thank you, Manfred. Um, 
talking about motor drive units. So behind us, you see different types, different models of motor drive units. Actually, you know, the motor drive unit is mechanically connected via the drive shaft to the onload tap changer. Here we only see uh, the motor drive unit itself. So Manfred, please tell us specifically, which motor drive units do we see here? Yeah, here we have the history of the motor drive units. We have different motor drive units here. I will start with the first one. This is our MA2. This was produced between 1954 and 1972. From that motor drive, we produced more than 9,000 units. This motor drive was used for tap changers type B, type C, and type D. Here, on that old motor drive unit, normally there is a mercury contact installed, which gives us the impulse for the next operation. Nowadays, with mercury, it's dangerous, and therefore, we have to replace that. Mm -hmm. What we also have here, it's not touch-proof. In our equipment here, we have replaced many, many relays for our service technician to train. But outside in the field, you always can find the old relays and they are not really touch-proof. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Manfred. So there are still some models in service, yes, of right? Course. There are many outside in the field. Okay, but actually we see here the oldest motor drive unit MR ever produced. Uh, thank you. Uh, the next one here, it's type MA4. Yes, right? the next one here is type MA4. This was the next motor drive what MR produced. It was produced between 1957 and 1974. From that equipment, we produced more than 8,000 units. And they're also all around the world, and they are still running outside in the field. Here on that unit, we have also a mercury contact inside to give an impulse for the next operation. And here we have a transmission gear inside, which is filled with oil. So when we have oil inside and the motor drive is 50 years old, it can happen that you can get the leakage on the hand crank or on the transmission gear. And this is not good. But here we have no possibility né, to replace that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. So manufactured until 1974 when uh, Germany became soccer world champion for the second time. Yes. Uh, okay, so yes. long long time ago. Long Manfred, time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, MA7, the next one, the MA7. Please the update us quickly. The next one is the MA7. Yeah. There is also the big brother from MA7. It's called MA7-8. It's just yeah. a bigger housing where you can install a little bit more equipment. This was produced from 1972 up till the year 2000. Mm -hmm. And this was the most common motor drive unit from MR. We produced more than nearly 40,000 uh, units. Mm -hmm. Also here on the MA7, we have a transmission gear inside. This is an old one where we can see which is filled with oil. Mm -hmm. Also here we can have a leakage. And the problem is always when you go somewhere and maybe you replace the O-rings from the hand crank, it's about the warranty. Half year later, you can get the leakage somewhere else. And it's also not touch proof. You see here, if I will touch that, I will get an electrical shock. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the year 1985, they replaced that transmission gear, which was, was filled with oil. They replaced it by a belt transmission gear. So the newer units from the MS7, they have a belt inside. Okay, that's a good point. From 85 onwards, a belt type transmission gear was used, so a maintenance free type of the transmission gear. The older units uh, with an oil filled transmission gear. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the risk with an oil filled transmission gear is uh, they can be leaky and uh, require repair, yes. uh, replacement, this is, whatever. Okay. This is the most important point why they changed uh, to the belt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Manfred. Coming to the next one here, um, a smaller one, um, the MI9, uh, produced until year 2000, I think. Can you yes, please uh, this, is, this is the MI9. Yeah. Uh, it has nearly the same equipment like the MI7, mm -hmm. but everything was pressed together in a small room. Okay. They produced the MI9 from 1978 up to the year 2000. Mm -hmm. And 
This was many times used outside in the field ne, for the old tap type V, but also for MS type A or type B. Also here, it's not touch proof. And you see all the equipment is here inside. But if I have to replace something like the step-by-step -step unit, or if I have to change the position indicator plate, yeah. then I have to remove the complete insert that I can work on that port, what I have to replace. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, Manfred. Um, MA9. Uh, last but not least here, we see the top motion ED, um, uh, our current motor drive unit for onload tap changer. Yes. I think it has been manufactured uh, since the year 2000. Yes, um, they started with the first units around 1998, 1999. Yeah. But in the year 2000, no, yeah. the motor tap motion ED replaced MI7 and MI9. Yeah. And the benefit also from the ED is it has a running through protection. So if there is a motor relay or something sticking, yeah. no, after one operation, it will automatically trip the motor protective switch. Okay, so failure prevention, for example, can be a reason to replace motor drive units, older motor drive units with uh, a new one, failure prevention, because of uh, running through over the positions, that can, can be an issue. A leaky gear, a leaky oil gear can be an issue. Um, also, update, technological upgrade, like a Mercury switches. I think the older one, they are equipped with Mercury switches, yes, right? Yes, so the MA2 and the MA4 no, is equipped, was equipped with the Mercury switches. Yeah. When they started with the MA7, no, it was out. Yeah. What also is on the ED, we have also there a belt transmission gear inside, yeah. and everything is touch-proof. Everything is touch-proof. Okay. Um, old MR drives? Talking about non-MR drives, um, we can also replace, for example, other brands like Siemens drives, AEG, Trafo Union, um, and of course, uh, other brands available in the market. For that purpose, uh, we supply an adapter console, which uh, makes it possible to install motor drive ED, for yes. example, instead. Yes. So you can replace nearly every motor drive. No? Then they install on the ED uh, special uh, transmission gear no? that we have exact uh, the same revolutions like yeah. before with the old motor drive. Okay. And okay. what also is a big benefit on the step motion ED is there we also can install a monitoring system. Mm -hmm. This was not available on the old units because no? they were not so big like the ED mm -hmm. and we were not able to install there no? The monitoring system. Monitoring system. Talking about monitoring, talking about the digital connected transformer, we can also refer our participants to the embedded transformer operating system. We call it ETOS. A um, couple of weeks ago, we made a live event about ETOS. So if you're interested, uh, please click to the link of uh, the intelligently connected transformer. All right, coming back here, motor drive unit replacement. It can be done easily. Super simple, within a couple of hours, I think, or half yes. a day, you can replace a motor drive unit, the older one, with a newer one. We're going to see it later on on our show transformer outside. But before, I would like to summarize. So, ladies and gentlemen, what could we see here? We saw several different types of motor drive units for onload tap changers, which MR manufactured in the last decades. We supplied... Um, all the, the motor drive units to all customers all over the world. Many of them are still in service. Modernization requirements, retrofitting, failure prevention as already discussed, or a digitalization um, can be the reason or can be the motivation for a transformer end user to replace a motor drive unit with a new one. This can be done super simple and this is what we would like to show you now. So now we jump on our uh, transformer outside to demonstrate such a replacement. So thank you very much. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are now here in front of our show transformer, of our training transformer. So we have excellent weather conditions here outside. The sun is shining. Um, we would like to show you now 
what is important to prepare a motor drive unit replacement. We would like to show you now organizational aspects as well as technical aspects. And for that reason, I brought two specialists with me. So welcome to Bastian and to Herbert. So Herbert will now inform us about all specific requirements to prepare a motor drive unit replacement. So, Herbert. Thank you, Thank you Stefan, for the warm welcome. In the next couple of minutes, we would like to talk about technical specification, offer and order procedure, and hopefully in the end of the day, the uh, organization and preparation of the service at site. But the first, why a motor drive unit may become necessary to replace. The root cause could be different. It could be a component, perhaps it's damaged and no spare parts is available. It could be a refurbishment of the transformer after 20 to 30 years, or maybe modernization and digitalization of the substation, which becomes more and more often during the last month. It doesn't matter. The procedure will always be the same, as we know from the spare parts. Our customer know exactly who is the contact person, who is the responsible sales engineer at MR Germany. And in the seldom case, if it's not known to our customer, when just take a look to our website or give us a call at the switchboard of MR Germany. We will take care about it. Hello together and also a very warm welcome from my side. Thank you, Herbert. Um, as Herbert already mentioned, you can send your inquiry via mail or also contact um, the direct contact person via phone call at MR with the serial number of the motor drive unit or the on-load tap changer. The serial number is shown on the front of the door of the motor drive unit. You can forward a picture or you can um, only send it via mail. Um, so why only serial number is necessary? Um, with this information, we are able to prepare a budgetary offer because of the documentation of the um, original delivered motor drive unit. We can check all technical um, specifications in our system, in our documentation, and prepare this offer. We are talking in that case only about MR motor drive units. If we um, should offer a replacement for a third-party motor drive unit, we of course need some more details because um, we do not have any documentation about that. And now we come back to you, Herbert. Um, Herbert will explain us some more details what is requested because we have a special document, a specification document, what will be provided. Herbert, can you please explain us some more about that document? Yes, of course. Bastia has already mentioned for an MR motor type unit, the serial number is enough to get a budgetary quotation. But how about a third-party motor drive unit? Of course, we need more information. And to replace a third-party motor drive unit is more common as replacement of an MR motor drive unit. Exactly for this case, we have developed a kind of specification sheet, a kind of checklist, which makes the life easier for our customers. I will just give you right now a brief overview what content the checklist will have. Let's talk about at first about the transformer. That means we need at first some general information, how the transformer look like, the size of the transformer. Is it an application in industry or is it just a normal network application? Then, of course, we need the information to our customer in case that we have questions or we have to contact him. To, give, uh, to get more information. That means a technical contact person at the site would be very, very helpful. When we need the information to the on-load step changer to the OLTC, the type of OLTC, the year of manufacturing, and some more information uh, like the rate of power and so on. Also, some general information of the motor drive would be very, very helpful in case it's a third-party motor drive. In the best case, you always provide us pictures. Pictures from the nameplates, pictures from the location, from the substation, and the surroundings of the substation. But now, 
please take a look inside to the motor driver to get a little bit more in detail. In this case, let's open the motor drive unit. What informations are here necessary in order to prepare a sufficient quotation? Of course, at first, the designation of the tap position. This is very, very helpful. The next step will be motor circuit, control circuit, heating circuit. What kind of power supply do we have? What we have to consider? In the best case, of course, if you can provide the old circuit diagram, would be perfect. This makes the life much easier. But, uh, you know, after 30 years or 20 years, it doesn't matter, circuit diagram may disappear. So we need this all kind of information which you are able to give us. Also, we need the mechanical design. Do we have to open the door to the left or do we have to open the door to the right? Do we have enough space for the new motor drive unit? How does the dive shaft look like? Do we have to consider one meter like here or do we have to consider perhaps an intermediate gear? This is really related to the OLTC. And of course, in the end of the day, if we have to consider intermediate gears, carbon shaft, it will lead to a price difference. So therefore, we always ask as much as details which we can get, but yeah, for the budgetary quotation, of course, a rough estimation is always possible. Also, what we have to know what type of tap position modules are implemented in the motor drive unit. It could be, if you're talking about the digitalization of a transformer, it could be PCD signal, or at least just a normal contact range, resistor contact range. We are able to provide all kinds of different models. Also very, very important would be the button blend of the motor drive. If you have to consider some special cable contacts, like such a cable contact. So this is very, very important if you know it during the offer and order procedure. By providing all the information, as mentioned before, we are able to uh, give a detailed offer to our end customers. And hopefully, in the end of the day, it becomes the Bastians. Now, uh, topic, the preparation and organization of a service job at site. Okay, Hermit, thank you very much for the detailed explanation, what is um, technical requested. And now we come to the service, to the replacement on site. So as you already mentioned, pictures are always good to have. Also for planning the service on site. It would be good to get the overview of the whole motor draft unit, of the transformer, and um, of the complete substation. Reason is we need a small crane for this replacement and we have to check the space around the transformer and around the substation. So um, yeah, as I said, we need the crane for the replacement. In general, of course, customer is responsible for health and safety rules, take care about um, de-energizing transformer and grounding and so on, the five safety rules, um, safety clothes, um, we will bring, of course, but general health and safety on site. Um, what else to prepare? Power supply for um, replacement and depending on the package, what um, we are offering or what um, you as customer are um, requesting, we take care about this connection of electrical connections in motor drive unit or the customer will take care about it. But that can be um, arranged in mail conversation in the offer stage. That is not a problem. The normal time for um, a replacement is one working day. So eight to 10 hours, let's say. But of course, we are also able to include the maintenance on the onload tap changer. So therefore, we are flexible. What is requested from um, the customer side, please tell us a motor drive replacement, including the onload tap changer maintenance or any other jobs. Feel free to include all your um, requests and we will check and offer our best quotation. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you to Herbert and Bastian for explaining us all the organizational and technical requirements around the topic motor drive unit replacement. So what did we see? In the training center, we did see different drive units, different models of uh, motor drive units. Um, Manfred explained us uh, all the specific things around every single drive. Here, Bastian and Herbert, they demonstrated uh, the requirements which are necessary to prepare a motor drive unit retrofit properly. So now we come to our highlight, to the next point on our agenda. Um, I would like to invite Manfred and uh, Sebastian. Um, our specialist will demonstrate a real motor drive unit replacement. And uh, we are looking forward to see uh, in the next minutes uh, how that works. So thank you, Manfred. Hello, Stefan. Um, nice to see you. Before we start, can you qu uh, quickly update us uh, which kind of transformer we have behind us? So here we have our training transformer. It's a small one. It has just 12.5 MBA. Okay. It is equipped with a motor drive MI9 and also with a Type M. And this was produced 1988. And now we want to replace you know, the motor drive MI9 with the tap motion ED. Okay, so MI9 mechanically connected to old tap M here. And what are we doing? We replace the old MI9 with a tap motion ED. Okay, so please take over. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome here now to our live event. Now we want to disassemble our motor drive unit. Therefore, we have prepared our new motor drive unit and also the bevel gear, the drive shaft and everything what we need for that replacement. The first thing when we start with the replacement, we have to go with the motor drive to the adjustment position because the new motor drive is also delivered in the adjustment position. After that, we have to control that there is no power on the terminals in the motor drive. When we have checked that, then we can disconnect the power supply after that, we start with the disassembling of the vertical and the horizontal drive shaft. When this is disassembled, then we remove the upper bevel gear. And after that, we will start with the removement of the motor drive unit. You saw before that we removed the old motor drive unit. Now we start with the assembly of the new motor drive unit. First of all, we have to install an adapter plate. After that, we can mount the motor drive tap motion ED. 
When this is done, then we will go up on the transformer and we will install our new bevel gear. Then we also mount the, the, the horizontal drive shaft. After that, we go down and we install our vertical drive shaft with the cardan joints. When this is done, then we have to measure between the two shafts the length that we can cut our square shaft to the correct length. After that, we mount the square shaft and the protecting tube. When this is finished, then we have to do the alignment between the tap changer and the motor drive unit. After that, we can connect all our cables from the power supply. After that, we have to do an insulating test. And when this is okay, then we can do test operations to the whole range and we finish our job.
So, ladies and gentlemen, finally, we are at the end of our event today. So, first of all, thank you very much for your attention. So, we just would like to summarize our event here. What could we or what could you learn today? There are different drive units out there in the field, MA2, MA4, MA7, and so on. So, a replacement of a motor drive unit during the lifetime of a power transformer is very likely and can have different reasons. For example, modernization during a midlife refurbishment, retrofitting with new functions uh, such as automatic voltage regulation, monitoring devices, and so on. Failure prevention due to regular grid errors of the old one or even digitalization and communication can be the requirement of a grid operator today. So actually, and this is what we could see today, a replacement of a motor drive unit is not a big issue at all and can be realized within a few hours. So three to four hours, uh, this service measure, this action can be done easily. We would like to welcome and motivate all of you to check internally if you have transformers in your network, which are due to refurbish or due to overhaul in this regard. So with a simple exchange of the motor drive unit, you can definitely increase the reliability of your tap changing equipment, of your transformer. Yeah, and this brings you one step forward to use your equipment as long as possible. So if you need any support with clarification, preparation of a project like this, so we as MR Rheinhausen, we are looking forward to help you. Just go in touch with us, send us an email or call us. Um, any feedback to the event would be highly appreciated as well. So thank you very much.